Throughout 1989, people all over Central and Eastern Europe took to the streets demanding freedom and democratic reforms. In a series of revolutions that spread from one country to another in a chain reaction, opposition movements were formed, dictators overthrown, and borders opened. Communist regimes in the region eventually came to an end. In 1988, a wave of worker strikes spread throughout Poland, forcing the local regime to talk to opposition groups. The negotiations eventually legalized Solidarity, a Polish labor union led by Lech Walesa, and set up the first partially free elections in the Eastern Bloc. In June 1989, Solidarity candidates won a majority of seats and later formed the first non-communist government in Eastern Europe. Around the same time, in Hungary, the Hungarian and Austrian foreign ministers symbolically dismantled part of the Iron Curtain between their countries. The transition to democracy started after Janos Kadar, a communist leader who had ruled Hungary for more than 30 years, retired in 1988 and was succeeded by younger reformers. Just a few months after his resignation, Hungary adopted a democracy package and claimed the borders would no longer be secured by a fence. The decision was followed by a symbolic gesture. On August 19, 1989, a gathering was organized near the border, and a gate from Hungary to Austria remained open to pedestrians for three hours. During that time, about 1,000 East Germans, spending their summer vacations in Hungary, fled to Austria. Hundreds of East Germans later sought refuge at West Germany's embassies in Budapest, the capital of Hungary, and Prague, the capital of Czechoslovakia. They camped on the embassy's properties for weeks, waiting to be allowed to leave for the West. Meanwhile, in East Germany, thousands of people demanded civil rights, such as freedom of movement. On November 9, 1989, East German official Gunter Schabowski was taken aback by a question on travel rules. He replied by saying the restrictions would be lifted immediately. That same night, crowds of Germans climbed the Berlin Wall, reuniting with people from the other side of the city for the first time since it was divided in 1961. On November 17, 1989, a peaceful demonstration in Prague was stopped by a cordon of riot police. Although the unarmed students chanted, we have bare hands, the police blocked escape routes and the protest had ended in violence. This event sparked a series of demonstrations in Czechoslovakia, leading to the end of communist rule and the election of dissident playwright Václav Havel as president. Just a day after the Berlin Wall fell, on November 10, 1989, a Bulgarian dictator was overthrown by members of the Communist Party and replaced by more liberal communists. But the bloodiest of Europe's anti-communist revolution started in December 1989 in the Romanian city of Timisoara as a rally in support of a popular priest who had criticized authorities. Later, it evolved into a mass protest against the communist regime. On December 21, 1989, an attempt by Romanian dictator Nicolae Ceaușescu to restore authority went terribly wrong as his speech got interrupted by chants of protest. That night, Bucharest turned into a battlefield. Four days later, Ceaușescu and his wife were executed. In 1989, the reign of communism ended in Poland, Hungary, East Germany, Czechoslovakia, Bulgaria, and Romania. The first free elections were held in 1990 after many decades of one-party rule. But the countries were soon to realize that this was just the start of the battle for democracy.